am literally in love, you guys. Hey guys, what is up? It is Monday. It is currently 11.45. Fresh start to the week. I honestly love starting off a fresh week. It just feels so good. And especially Mondays, I like to get my shit together. We have like a lot of things to do today. A lot of fun things. This is going to be like a filming day. I'm taking the camera along. I need to get a bit of a segment. First of all, we're going to start with cleaning because I have so much shit. I hate starting off the week with messy surroundings. Like I, I just hate it. So since it's Monday, we're going to clean. I'm going to like clean. I need to clean my room like it's really bad right now as usual but we're gonna clean my room and then we'll go make some caffeine whether it be matcha or coffee last week i went to go get my tires changed they told me that my brake pads and rotors are completely shot and they billed me like six hundred dollars that was their estimate but thankfully my dad knows all about cars so my dad is gonna teach joel how to do them and they're gonna do them together so thank you dad they're outside doing my car right now and yeah i'm gonna clean my room today and then i want to kind of like give my car a nice clean i would need a vacuum her i need to clean the outside so my car is getting a nice glow up today my room's gonna be getting a glow up but yeah let's get our shit together right now i just need to it's monday like come on i feel like i haven't done like a cleaning montage in a while so let's do that i really need to wash my bed sheets but right now my kitty cat this is what she does um during the day she sleeps in my bed so i'm gonna have to wait until she gets off to wash my sheets because she's so cute i can't disturb her <gasps> So since she is in there, we're, I'm just gonna have to clean like my room in general and then I'll get to the bed sheets maybe later. I feel like this is a great angle to show you guys all the disgustingness. You know, like my video last week, I did like my Depop haul. Like I, not my Depop haul. I put like clothes up on Depop. I still have the clothes folded on my floor. I didn't touch them. Like literally, that's just like what I do. It's horrible. I need to fix this. Okay, I'm gonna put some music on and it's gonna be a good, oh God. It's gonna be a good time, okay? My pro tip for you guys is if you guys have like a big, cleaning quest to do put on a podcast or put on like music and it helps so much so i think i'm gonna put on a podcast i'm gonna listen to pretty basic with alicia marie and remy cruz also everything that i listen to like whether it be a youtube video or a podcast i make sure to speed it up they have like features on podcasts that you can do like 1.25 speed or two times speed and on youtube too so literally whenever i watch youtube videos or podcasts i put them faster just because you still watch the video and you're still like getting the same information except it just goes faster so you can like listen to more of it Okay, let's get cleaning. She's right on my floor there, so it gives me a chance to do my sheets. I realize I also have a lot of laundry to do today, so it's gonna be a cleaning laundry day, but I definitely need to get my sheets done because it's been a little over two weeks, and if you guys didn't know, apparently, like, you're supposed to be washing your sheets every two weeks or else they're gonna get, like, really gross, so I've been doing that because before that, it was, it was not good, so <laughs> let's take our sheets off. <laughs> Cats are just such majestical creatures, I feel like. I don't know what it is about them, but I just love kitties and cats so much. I feel like they have like a deeper connection to you. I don't know like the science behind it, but I think there's science behind it. I don't know, there's a story where this woman had like cancer, like on her chest or in her stomach, I can't remember, and her cat every day would lay on top of her stomach and purr and like try and heal her, and then later she found out that she had cancer, and the cat like knew that. And I feel like cats are just so intuitive and I don't know. Amazing. Little babies. Also, I totally believe that when animals die, they have a afterlife. Like, they live on. Like, I 100% believe that. There's no way that they can't. Like, I, I believe that. Like, there's something in them. Like, they are living. They are breathing. They have to have an afterlife. I totally believe in that.
every morning I've been trying to do something a little different because I feel like I haven't been getting enough water in me I and mean, I haven't been like as hydrated as I would like to be so I've been like getting I think this is maybe a liter I'm not sure maybe not that much but I don't know it's kind of big so I've been filling this up and I've been trying to drink this all in the morning before I have my coffee or my matcha or whatever I want to like make sure that I get my hydration in first before drinking anything else and I did a really good job this morning I literally just have a couple sips left yeah I feel like because it's so big it's like it reminds me like I need to finish this glass before I can move on and have anything else because I do really slack in hydrating myself recently I have been really slacking so this has been helping I feel like it's most important to get your water in in the morning because that's when you first wake up that's when your body has nothing in it it's like you have a fresh start so I feel like getting your water in in the morning is like the most beneficial and it's gonna last you like throughout the day so even if you do forget to drink water throughout the day as long as you have like a big sum in the morning i feel like you'll most likely be pretty well hydrated if you forget to drink it during the day as well so it just like makes me feel better like at least i had that big glass of water in the morning So I just finished or we just finished washing my car We didn't do the outside just because I didn't have like any soap or anything So I was just like I'll just go through a car wash and then eventually I'll buy like my own stuff But it feels so nice and clean Anyways, so right now we are going to meet up with my older sister Brittany If you guys have watching been watching me for a while You've probably seen her like in the vlog at some point But we are going to meet up with her right now because she just finished work She does spiritual work now and she's been using like these dowsing rods and if you guys don't know what that is you can like search it up but she's been using these to like communicate with spirits and like the dead and yeah so if you guys are super into like that super nat natural type of shit keep watching because it's going to be very interesting but if you're not into it then you can just skip ahead you don't have to watch it but yeah she's going to do some super natural shit and it's just going to be super interesting so yeah i'm going to bring you guys along but yeah she has a tiktok account where you can stalk her and like see her videos that she's done because she does like readings and everything so it's going to be a fun time Hey okay, y'all, we're at the park. I got my matcha. We got Brittany over here. Do you want to explain the rods a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so these are the dowsing rods. They're made of copper and the reason is so that they can pick up energy. Like even if I like, I don't know if I could really do it, but they move with, I don't know the scientific explanation, but it's so that it can pick up energies and basically everything is energy. You can use them for multiple things. They're used as a tool. I use them as a divination tool um, to communicate with spirits and it picks up on their energy so they can use their energy to manipulate the rods. Yeah, that, that's basically it. I guess, I guess they'll see for themselves. Yeah, you'll see for themselves. You take a look at the handle. So I hold them like this. So like really, you know, like I could, I can't, you'll see, I'm not touching the bottom, I'm not mm -hmm. touching the top, and there's no way I can manipulate it really by just yeah. this alone. All right, Joel, ready? Born ready. Okay, so we're here with the rods, and yeah, it's pretty active. There's, We've got some friends here. So again, these rods, I ask that you cross for yes and open for no. Can you uh, cross for yes? Can you show me? Thank you. Yeah, so yes kind of looks like that. Thank you. And then I'll push these back. And can you open for no? Open them wide for no so we know what no looks like. Yeah, these are kind of going wide. Thank you. Yeah, just like that. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk to Grandpa Chester again, which is Joel's grandpa. Grandpa Chester, are you still with us here? He's... Yes, thank you. Grandpa Chester, where are you? Can you show me us where you are, please? Right next to Joel still. Joel's right here. <laughs> Easy. Joel's there. <laughs> grandpa Chester, do you know where Joel's dad went to high school. Do you remember the name of the high school? Yes. Thank you. So Grandpa Chester, did Joel's dad go to Burnaby Central High School? I think it's saying no. No. Did he go to Burnaby North? Yes, now it's saying yes. Yeah, yes. He went to Burnaby North. He went really? to Burnaby North. Yeah. What? Oh, what's going on here? I keep pointing. Ooh. Oh. Who wants my attention now? I think that's our grandpa. That's Vuvu. Vuvu Nando, is that is that you trying to get our attention? 
So our grandpa is right here. He always, um, when I do this, he always comes and he always stands next to me. Okay, Boo Boo, will you answer some, will you answer some questions for us? Yes, thank you. So let's ask, ask some questions that we know the answer to. So Boo Boo, I'm going to ask if you were from Spain or Portugal. Can you answer that question for me? Yes. Boo Boo, were you born and raised in Portugal? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so our cat, Mysterious, well, no, not Mysterious, it was a stray cat, basically, Hershey, and she came to us, and we took her in. She would have gotten, like, eaten by coyotes. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, Literally. been killing me since we found her on our front porch. How someone can just, like, did someone lose her? Did, did she get abandoned? Like, what happened to her? Is that something that you can help us with? Can you help us answer? Yes, that was a big yes. Okay. Okay, so maybe ask, um, was she stray? A long time before we found her like was she alone yes oh my god no. well she was so skinny right she baby was... girl oh, no. I was nervous that it was like somebody's cat that was just wandering off and then we took her in um, no it's saying no to no. that thank you so was was she was she abandoned then no 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 oh, she was abandoned was she abandoned along with a many other Kittens. Was there other kittens that were abandoned with her? Oh no! Oh <laughs> my god! I shouldn't be laughing. That's really sad. Some of them probably died, like 100%. Oh, ask if some of them Am I right when I say that maybe some of them died? No, yeah. No. I would have took them all in. I would. I would have bought a new house just for them. Okay, guys, we just got home from the park. So I just got a package from News Only. So I'm gonna unbox it and do a little haul for you guys. So thank you to them so much for sending me these clothing. I wanna see what they picked out for me. Ooh, this is a beautiful color. Oh, wow, these are really soft and nice. I'll do a try on haul for you guys in like a sec, but I just wanna unbox this with you guys first. Oh, wow, I love this top. Holy shit, wow, this is really good quality too. Wow, look, it's a matching top. I love myself some matching workout sets. You can't get anything better than that. And the color, I have nothing like it. This is beautiful. So they sent me that and then another set. Okay, we got some gray going on. These remind me of like Lululemon quality. Like this quality feels really good. We got these leggings. They're a little bit different than those. And then, oh, matching top as well. Ooh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this on. I'm gonna try these on right now for you guys. Okay, here's the first set. I am literally in love, you guys. This quality is literally so good. It feels like Lululemon. It is so lightweight and very affordable pricing on their website. Wow, this color too. So here is the back. So freaking adorable. Like, I'm actually shocked about this color. I'm in love with it. So pretty. I also moved my mirror here because here it's just really bad lighting. So I feel like when I do like try on holes like this, I'm gonna push my mirror here from now on. Okay, you guys, so here is the second set and I'm in love with this one as well. The leggings are a little bit different. They have like different lining here in the back. And this, I'm like really obsessed with this shirt, like the way, like the outline of it, it sits like pretty high, which is nice. And then it has like the thick straps, which like continue on to the back like that. Literally so adorable. The quality is so good. I'm literally obsessed. And the color is also like super cute, just like neutral. I will have their website linked down below so go and check them out and thank you so much again for sending me these I appreciate it so 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 much and I will definitely be wearing these on my next workout I'm so excited you know when you get new workout clothes and it just like it inspires you to go work out this is what this is doing to me that's my little haul bam hey guys so it is currently like 6 30 um and i'm about to head over to julia's house and i just wanted to do a little bit of a moments with michaela segment before i go because i just had like something on my mind i've realized it's so 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 important to respect other people's opinions and values and morals about something or everything in general because we're so quick like it's almost in our dna like we're so quick to judge people about what they believe and we shouldn't be the ones to talk you know what i mean everyone has different opinions and everyone has different values that may not align with yours but that doesn't mean that they're wrong or that they're bad um it's just you guys think differently and we're all different and unique in our own ways and no matter what you believe or no matter what you think that's your own opinion and you have the right to that own opinion you have the right to that own belief and it's so important that we as humans just like respect that with one another if you're one religion and someone is a different religion don't judge them for having different views than you or if someone you're religious and someone isn't religious don't judge 
bash them for that goes both ways because everyone is at a different point in their life and everyone has experienced different things and through those experiences we create values and beliefs and everything so you just have to think that really everyone is at a different stage in their life no matter what other people's values and opinions are no one is wrong including you you're not wrong no one is wrong because everyone has the right to their own opinion and they have a right to their own values so as long as their values are not hurting anyone as long as they're not hurting anyone with what they believe and as long as it's not affecting anyone in a negative way then you should just respect them and don't judge because when you believe something it's like you have that thought process of like oh if someone doesn't believe the same thing as me they're wrong and it's like that's a really bad way to look at it because in another person's mind they're right in what they believe as well so even if it's the complete opposite thing that they believe then their mind they're right you know what i mean so it's what you believe so you can't be wrong to yourself if that makes any sense so it's just so important that we put aside our differences and people are allowed to think what they want to think people are allowed to, to believe what they want to believe and we should all just respect each other's opinions and values no matter how different they are from ours and that's how we would create them like a more harmonized society and work together that way yeah so i don't know i was just thinking like don't judge anyone because you don't know what they're going through in life whatever they believe or whatever their morals are that's for them and if they're not harming anyone there's no reason to judge them and there's no reason to try and convince them or sway them to what you you, you believe because it'll do no good but yeah i just wanted to sit down and say that quickly because that was just like weighing on my mind and i just like realized that we should not be judging other people based on any anything because we're not in their shoes we haven't lived their life so whatever they believe they are entitled to believe and it's wrong to judge them for that your opinion is valuable your thoughts are valuable what you believe in is valid and you guys are all so loved and valid in everything you believe and think so just remember that and if someone judges you for what you believe or what you think just turn a blind eye to it and don't judge them back because you being the bigger person is going to be more beneficial for you in the long run so yeah i have my bed sheets back on and my baby's already back on the bed without any bed sheets still comfy up here okay bye baby I literally can't explain to you how good it feels to have a clean car. It feels like a new house. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's just literally the best feeling. Um, I'm on the way to Julia's now. We're gonna have a nice paint night. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I will try and film a little bit when I'm there. So it is like 10 o'clock right now. I just got back from Julia's and I realized, oh shit, like I just wanted to get ready to go to bed. And then I realized that I haven't put my bed sheets back on yet. They are dried, so that is good. So I need to just put like my clothing in the dryer and then take my bed sheets up and do my bed. Oh God, I realized I have clothing in there that I need to fold and then put that, those in there. But do I really need to fold them? Or can I fold them tomorrow? I'm literally a grandma, you guys. As soon as the clock strikes 10, I start yawning. Like I get tired and it's just not okay at my age i should be like the opposite i'm 21 like i should be not yawning at 10 p.m at night but i unfortunately am so we are gonna be folding my laundry tomorrow sorry mom already got my laundry and we're gonna go put it on even though i just want to go to bed well i wish i could snap my fingers and be ready for bed anyone else that'd be one of the best superpowers to have to be honest is being able to snap your fingers and just go to, and just be ready for bed okay bye How cute is my painting? I'm actually really proud of it. The colors are so springy. I love it so much. And I think I'm going to put it behind here. That maybe. Okay, that looks like shit. <laughs> 
feel like it would look way better if like it was hung up oh my god what if i like collect all the paintings that i make and then i put like a little art gallery up here <gasps> that would actually be so cute okay we'll see but we're just gonna leave it there for now because i have nowhere really else to put it okay you guys i think i'm gonna end off the vlog here thank you guys so so much for watching this video i appreciate every single one of you so much so thank you um i will see you guys in my next video i hope you have an amazing day evening morning or night whenever you're watching this i'll send positive vibes your way yeah just remember don't judge and be positive be grateful and stay fresh i love you guys so much peace out back when we used to rock the braces phone calls about how we would make it we were sneaking out